This has been the journey so far. The cauldron was cold, but the horsemen rekindled its fire. And in the hearts of the makers, an ember of hope was born. Yay! Hope for life, and for what lies beneath the earth. So what you're saying is death brings hope for life. There's a plot twist no one saw coming. That's a way to get out of being typecast, isn't it, death? <laughs> Fuck this, I'm not going to do the death thing anymore, I'm going to bring hope for life. It, it definitely looks like I can go over there. <laughs> the invisible ward begs to differ, but I, I'm pretty certain that is a place that exists. Stupid game. Why do I play video games? They're always so bad. Why are there no v good video games in the world? Not a single one. Not a single one. The least bad one is Ocarina of Time, obviously, but like, being the least bad is, is, isn't is an accomplishment, you know? When someone gonna make a video game that isn't utter garbage and a waste of my time? And God knows I've wasted enough time on this hobby. God knows. For fucking th 30 years, 30 years nearly I've been, I've been feeding into the, the video game machine. And what do I get for it? Areas I can't walk to because of invisible walls. Come on now. Come on, up your game. Is that why everyone liked uh, Breath of the Wild so much? Just because it, it... I say that. Breath of the Wild definitely has invisible walls, right? There is an edge to the map. You can't just go forever. <laughs> so so even Breath of the Wild with its... with its Oh, you see that hill over there? You can climb it. Mentality. <laughs> It's it, it's it's not it's not flawless. It's not untouchable. There's oh, there's oh, oh. Hold up, hang on. How do? I feel like I'm locked in here. Yeah. Big ball goes in big switch, right? It's usually how these things go. How do I harness the power of big ball? Oh, can I just climb the wall back here? Guess not. I guess invisible wall again. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, I am death. I am the, the very force of which puts humans to their final moments on this planet. Like, I... I, I shouldn't be... I shouldn't be railroaded like this. I should be free to do as I please. How did I miss this? <laughs> How did I just completely blank this? Come on now, Joe. Come on. That was impressive even for me. That was that was some painfully low uh, observation capability. Uh, and I picked this up. And then I uh, go into this mode, and then I do one of these, and then I do that, and uh, hey presto, we have ball. What? What? Why was he pointing his? What was he pointing his gun at then? There's something he really didn't like up there. Is it that weird texture? Was it this weird texture that's popping in and out and makes absolutely no sense? Is this what he was pointing his gun at? Did he want me to see this? Did he want me to witness this? <laughs> That's an odd decision. I feel like it's just not meant to be there, right? I feel like it should just be an open sky and it would look so much better. Why is that there? Come on, Darksiders 2. Come on now. You're a, you're a good game for the most part. Why would you... Uh, why would you humiliate yourself like this? Why would you allow yourself to drop to these standards? I, I, I really do like this aesthetic. I think this looks really good. Like, no cap, as they say. For a game that is now two console generations out of date and uh, was released over nearly a decade ago, it uh, genuinely has a really good look to it. Just don't look at anything too closely is the only, uh, the only quantifier there. Qualifier? I don't know. Either word is fine, I suppose. I think qualifier is the word we wanted. Uh, right, so, uh, what do we do in this big cool room? 
What does this big cool room want from me? Does it want me to open the chest? I'll open the chest. I don't think I won't. There's just money. There wasn't a pair of gloves. There wasn't a random piece of clothing just locked away in a chest that I could later put to use as I am death and that is that is what death does. He's a bit of a fashionista. He collects clothes like he, he goes to like secondhand shops. He buys hand-me-downs. He, he likes the fashions of yesteryear. Does death? I'd imagine death's a bit of a boomer, honestly. It's not. It's not like a an ironic retro thing for him. He 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 just is genuinely like old, and so he still likes the old clothes that were around when he was a kid. I.e. the dawn of time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. Well, it's down there now. Do you think it's gonna find its way back up to me, or do you think I can just forget about it forever? I'm just gonna forget about it forever. What's the worst that could happen? Oh man. I always need more health potions. I'm not gonna. Not gonna let that one slip through my fingers. Yeah, I feel like the bottom half of this area is clearly segregated from the top half. I probably can drop down there, but I feel like all it will really do is encourage me to climb back up again. Oh, speaking of climb back up again, I guess this is where I do it. There is stuff down there though. And I do like stuff. I'm mostly interested in this chest right now. That's what I'm here for. The, the chest that clearly dropped out of this thing's arse. The giant statue dookie. Uh, I knew there'd be new gloves for me eventually. I knew it was on the horizon. Oh. oh, this is fun. It's like a big marble run. My marble run was my favourite toy as a child because I was that kid. <laughs> I like Lego, I like marble runs, I liked uh I like Mousetrap. Mousetrap was a cool board game. Anything that was like had moving parts and shit, I was all about that. I wasn't one of those kids who would just be like happy to play with like a little toy car or something. That 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 wasn't for me. I liked I like nerdy shit even then. I feel like Lego. I don't understand Lego though. I don't understand how Lego is still so popular. And here's why I don't know why Lego is still so popular. Minecraft. Ever since Minecraft came out, if ever I felt the urge to play with Lego, and believe me, despite being a grown man, that urge comes from time to time. Just play Minecraft. Just start up Minecraft. It's literally virtual Lego. You can build what you want in there. It's great. And yet Lego is still still out there charging like fucking 150 big ones for a fucking set of six cubes and a little man. <laughs> like, how, how are you doing this? How are you succeeding? How is this a, a successful business practice for you? I mean, hats off to you that it works, but Jesus Christ, man. Uh, we're going to go through this big hole here, I think. I'm intrigued by this big hole here. Where do you go, big hole? Bit of a snaky path. There was a, there was a door upstairs I could have gone through as well, but I like this one. It's got light shafts. It's got plant life. It's got smooth walls. It's like a sewer, basically, isn't it? It's a sewer, is what this is. Can I? You really don't need to hang there. De Look, fine. There you go. Jump off it. I don't know why he he really liked that wall. He just wanted to attach himself to it. To become as limpet. Hmm. All right. Can I actually reach that? No, that's that's really high up. That's that's a really big high up thing. Ah. There's lots of climbing available in here, but all of it's a bit. Uh, a bit locked off to me right now, 
because I can't reach that first one. I mean, I can sort of spaz my way up here. The game doesn't really like me doing it, but I can. <laughs> and then can I like wall run from? No, okay. Yeah, I think this is uh, this is maybe something for later. Maybe what I'm thinking is going to happen is at some point we're going to turn the water on, and all this is going to become like an underwater tunnel, and this is going to like the bottom of this is going to flood, and then we can climb up. I think that's what's going to happen. And those those marble runs further up, they're like aqueducts. I can feel it. I can smell it. I know how video games work. This is the water temple. This is called the drench fort after all. I really should have seen it coming that there'll be water puzzles involved. Just give me some iron boots and a blue tunic and everything will be fine. I love how I love how Link can breathe underwater just because he's wearing blue. I, I, there's, there's no more to that statement. I just think that's that's amazing. I think that's really cool. Technically, uh, Breath of the Wild Link wears blue. Technically, so therefore he should uh, be able to breathe underwater forever because that's how it works. I, I'm sure there's a aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. This is too high as well, isn't it? Oh no, no, it's not. Beth is a powerful being. He knows no limits. There's actually two doors I can go through here. There's one up there as well, but that means going all the way around, and I can't be bothered with that. So I'm going to go with this one first. Good a reason as any to arbitrarily pick a door, I think. Oh. Oh. Nearly we just nearly just walk straight off that cliff. See look, there's definitely gonna be water coming out of these pipes. It's all coming together. Like a good plan does. Ah, oh, just for climbing back up. Is there anything over the other side and can we climb up if we that down there is blocked off, and I don't think I can feasibly get up the other side to go that way, so, uh, yeah, not this direction yet, then. Is that door on the left open, or is that... No, that's locked, I can see that. We have to go all the way around to get to the other one, so uh, let's take the scenic route, shall we? Let's take in the sights. I gotta say, the music for this game is really cool. I'm really enjoying it. It's very, uh, very sort of uh, captures the atmosphere, so to speak. I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting the music to be the standout for this game, honestly. But no, it's a good soundtrack, especially in the AAA sphere where it's very by the numbers. Video game music in, in big budget games is generally sticks to a very strict formula these days. This one's breaking that mould a bit, so, you know, hats off to it. What is in box? Just, just more dollars. Just more big bucks. Is there another door in here? The map seems to imply that there's like a, a door here. Am I insane? It's like a slightly greyer part of the of the gap there. I don't know why though. I mean I can just walk around, it's not really achieving anything but... Oh not you bastards again. I get my gun out. This is why guns exist. I think we need to wait for the water to fill up to get that chest as well. Definitely going to be one of those dungeons that you have to do twice, isn't it? You get halfway, you hit a switch, and then you do the entire thing again and get all the secrets that you couldn't get before. That's fine. That's okay. I'm down with that. I actually like stuff like that a lot, honestly. I think the... Uh, the Ocarina of Time Water Temple does take that a bit far. And you do spend way too much time just shifting the water level up and down to to re-access areas and stuff and it, it gets a bit annoying but a bit of that a bit of that's cool I think seeing an old area in a new light you know 
It's always a, a fun thing to do. I always like it when like the plot progresses in a game and something happens to earlier parts of the game and then they're they're completely changed in some way. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention to what that tour tip said. You know what? You guys fight this. I don't want to. Those guys are so useful. Such a good distraction. I press jump instead of dodge. I'm very bad at video games. I'm sorry. Oh wow, that's got big AoE on it. Jesus Christ, this dude. Can I at least like see a health bar for him? Can I lock on? Yeah. Oh wow, okay, that's a lot of health he's got left. Let's pop a potion. Right, okay. Oh shit. The timing on that's... I don't know, it, it comes out quicker than I expect it to quite a lot of the time. There we go. There we go, we're getting it, we're getting it down, slowly but surely. It's got like a really long wind up, but then it just it's just a sudden lurch forward after the wind up. Realize he was doing that. Didn't like that fella at all. It wasn't even a mini boss. It didn't have a proper health bar or anything. It was just it was just a normal enemy. So we're definitely going to find more of those. I suppose that big lizard thing that we fought in the first place was uh, was similar. The one that we needed the bone from. And we've not had to fight hundreds of those yet, thankfully, so. What was the point of this? Was this really just a side room to get a pair of gloves? A pair of bad gloves that I don't need? Made me use a fucking potion. Made me waste a fucking potion, mate. I'm not really on board with that. I don't know what just went thud. It was just the door closing again behind me or what, but it was very loud. The, uh, the dash through enemies attack thing that I have, I forget what it's called. It's pretty cool because it it auto locks on targets. Like I was just trying to use it then to just dash forward to get away, but he did a full 180 and dashed through an enemy behind him, which was actually much more useful. It's nice when a game just makes itself easier for you. Okay, what have we got here then? What are we dealing with in this room? When I'm running on walls, press A to leap to nearby. Oh, so you can do like a 90 degree. Press A. Oh, and you can like hop over those fuckers. Okay, neat. Oh, is it going in? Is it going in? Fucking perfect. Look at that hole in one. Golfing legend. Have like we got another half of a puzzle to solve yet, though? Uh, according to my map, secrets lie in this direction. Wow, what a secret. That's actually like a, a big fancy chest as well. This is going to be something real cool, right? No, it's just more money. Oh no, hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Aha! Sage Cowl. It has extra guilt find on it. Oh, I thought it was like a, a, a just an upper body piece. I didn't realise I had like neck pieces as well. I don't really know how many how many slots am I actually working with here. 
Okay, we've got shoulders, armor, gloves, boots, talismans. Okay, so shoulders was the only piece I hadn't discovered yet. We don't get a helmet or anything then. I guess we're already wearing a mask. It'll probably be a bit uncomfortable to stick a helmet over that. We wouldn't want death to be uncomfortable now, would we? He's such a nice boy. Uh, we've got to find another thing to do to lower those spikes further. That much is clear. Mm hmm. Uh huh. And then that does that. Okay, yep. Yeah. I see. I understand. Where's this chest that the. Ah, there it is. There's a, there's a secret little one. Crafty little boy hidden away. Found the dungeon map. That was fucking useless last time I found it, so I'm not particularly bothered, thank you. Alright then. Okay. How's this all working? How's this all coming together? In what manner do the jigsaw pieces fit? We have a big, long, slightly damp room. You want to actually get up there, Death? Thank you. Big button, which lowers those spikes, but it pops back up again when the spikes are okay. We got some shit we can explode if we find a bomb, but I haven't found a bomb. The one up there? Is that what's giving off these particles? I don't know. Looks like there isn't really much we can do in this room right now. Oh, actually. <laughs> Just what I wanted. How convenient that the thing I need to progress with the game is in the game. Okay, so we've got the ball, but the problem is, right, we need to we need to weigh down this button with something in order to push the ball through. To its hole. So we're still not done. We still haven't solutionified this solution. got a cool thing there. I still can't remember what those were for. I definitely saw a vendor somewhere who wanted them and it turned out it wasn't the talisman woman. I don't know. All will become clear in time I'm sure. Oh there's a lever over there. I just like... No! No not like that. Maybe from over here. Oh, can I not get up there if I'm... Oh, okay. Alright. Fair enough. Um, Death's not big on climbing when he's holding his giant ball. Just... Get rid of that shit. I guess this probably is the best place to throw it from then. I just need to not get it. <laughs> One more time. It's nice that I can just spawn infinite of these. That was the wrong button. I guess I can't spawn infinite of these. I can spawn three of these. I don't really know what this is going to achieve anyway, to be honest with you, but... Death. Death, dude. Come on now. Come on now, Death. Alright, we blew that up, so we can pull that lever if we can get to it. I just need to work out how. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Death was having a moment there. Didn't even need to be up there anyway. Um. Hmm. Nothing over here, is there? Despite it being on the map, that isn't actually a real area. 
I'm missing something. I'm missing something here. There's another cave up there, but I don't think I can get get to that at all. I think that's just scenery. Is there some way we could get the other ball in here? No, because then we'd just leave this ball behind, if, if even if we could. Am I being an idiot? Am I missing something really obvious here? This game hasn't been so cryptic up until now. This is the first time I've been openly baffled by something. Have ball. What if? And this is kind of dumb. But what if? Ugh. I could definitely just like work up some steam with it, right? And then just open the gate while it's while it's rolling. That is theoretically something I could try. It definitely isn't the solution. There's actually a slight delay on it as well. I don't know if that's at all relevant to anything. Ball, please. Please, you only had to go a little bit further. Why did you stop there? Oh, hang on. I'm dumb. I am straight up just dumb. Can I pick this up? Or do I have to go and get the other one? I can pick this up. That's nice. That's a nice mechanic. Put bomb on ball. Nope. <laughs> Death. Death, come on now. Come on, I believe in you. You can climb up the tiny ledge. That simple. It's that simple. I had to engage my brain a bit for that. I don't like it. I don't like having to think. I absolutely see where the Zelda comparisons come from with this game, though. Just That is straight up a Zelda puzzle. 100% hands down a Zelda puzzle. That exact puzzle probably is in one of the games. Not that I can remember a specific instance of it, but it, it probably is. Okay. Cool. Now that I've managed to wrap my little baby brain around that, we can move on. Go back to hacking and slashing things, because that's, that's much less uh, mentally taxing. Hello. I like the ghouls. I don't think they do much combat wise, but they sure as hell distract things from me, and I, I'm, I'm all about that, honestly. Encouraging things to not attack me for a bit is, uh, is honestly all I could really ask from anyone. Die! Stop being alive! Sorry, I get a bit, I get a bit, I get a bit aggressive when I play this game. It angers me a little. See, I thought I was really smart by freeing that lever from down there. Thought I might bypass a puzzle up here, but really all I had to do was just grab that bomb and throw it. But hey, I bypassed that. Look at me go. Hey, the water, we did it. I knew this was a thing. I knew it. Yay, look how lush and moist everything is. And that's some really weird looking water, honestly. Very gelatiny water. Let's see where it takes us. 
Let's follow the magic. There's a chest like here apparently. Is it Is it underwater? No, it's, it's up there, isn't it? How do I get up to it? Hey, I want the chest. Hey, I want Hold up. Hang on. Can I get here? Uh-huh. And then No? No. Well, fuck you too, Darksiders. Is there any way of getting up on this wall at any... I don't, I don't, I don't know how to get that chest. I don't understand it. There's no way of getting up on this wall at any point that I can see. Oh wait, hang on, what's this? Ahaha! Completely missed that, didn't I? Completely missed that super obvious uh, signposted ledge. And I got new sides. New sides for the slashing. Alright, moving on. Follow the aquatic brick road. I want that. And it's shit sides. Anything cool over here? No, it's just a little little indent. A little inlet. A little uh No, I'm out of words. My vocabulary isn't expansive enough to riff on things like that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What a weird aqueduct. It looks like it's supposed to fill that up, but instead the, the end just drops and fills up the floor underneath it. Bizarre. Okay, that door across the room is still locked f from the looks of things, so I guess what we do now is go back to plan A follow the water through the sewer. I don't like the way that... Yeah, all the, all the plants are flickering between green and teal. It's kind of upsetting. It's like the lighting can't decide what to do with them. Yeah, we can climb that now. That's within reason. Look at me solving the puzzle before I even got to it. We just won't talk about that other puzzle that actually stumped me for a solid like five, ten minutes. Ah, oh, I need to do a double wall run. I need to do a double. I can't even pronounce wall run. It's a difficult word. Anything that has a W sound and an R sound in it is 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 honestly the hardest thing to get my little my little mouth around. Well, not the hardest thing my little mouth's ever been around, you know you know what I mean? Talking about sucking dick. I'm sorry, it gets very crude on this channel sometimes. I tried to restrain myself. Can we go the other way? Oh yeah, the other way looks much more sensible. The camera even, like, indicates that this is the way to go. But I, I wanted to check out the other direction. I wanted to be special, didn't I? To be fair, I think I can make that, and it looks like there's a chest, so I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna. Not quite. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy. Why did I struggle with that? This better be worth it. It was far too easy peasy for me not to get a good reward. Hey, nine percent execution chance. I don't know what that means, but I want it. Those are the sort of words I like to hear. No. Oh. Kind of wanted to just grab the ledge and, and go back the way I came, but failed that a little bit. Re. 
Re Righty ho. Nothing in here? Haha. <laughs> I just needed to take one more step. How foolish of me. I see you dancing on that cliff top. I see you, big boy. You got a plan for me, haven't you? Sneaking up on me like that, very rude. Not enough wrath. Not enough wrath. Why does death have a wrath meter? May I ask? That doesn't seem very like fitting thematically for him. War and fury, yeah, sure, they should have wrath. I feel like death is more, like, cold and calculated, right? Wrath isn't necessarily what fuels death. Apparently he doesn't have enough wrath. I don't know if you, you, you've noticed. I don't know if he's made that clear yet. Oh, it doesn't have that much health, it's fine. I'll get this boy. I don't need to use a potion. No one can convince me otherwise. Oh. I always think I'm out of range of enemies' attacks, but they always have a lot of, like, leaping forward. A lot of forward momentum in their attacks in this game. It's a common thing with enemies. Cool. I didn't have to use a potion. I mean, I'm going to if I ever fight anything ever again, which is definitely something that will happen because I've not fought a boss in here yet. But, uh... Right now, I don't have to use a potion. Hooray. Pretty certain I just saw an enemy moving up here. Did I? Did I hallucinate that? Was that one of those like horror game tropes where you see something moving in the distance and then it's not there when you get up here? Or was it just me just being brain deficient? Which one is it? Genuinely could go either way. Oh, this is back to the main room, right? Can we just open this from this side? No, it's not just a one-way door. We still have to solve puzzle to get it open. Official puzzle solving. Hmm. All right. Looks like we're going to unleash more water on the uh, on the surroundings in a little while. Not yet, though. It was him. I angered him by hanging off the ledge in front of him. He doesn't like when I do that. Alright, let's fight them. Let's go at it. Has he gone again? Are you leading me a merry dance? You horrible little creature. Alright. Alright, fine. He's just there. It's not like he's uh not like he's gone far particularly. I just want this uh this Yu-Gi-Oh card over here. Book of the Dead is definitely a Yu-Gi-Oh card. That's a hundred percent a Yu-Gi-Oh card. That little dude who uses the zombies. He he definitely has it. I don't really remember much about Yu-Gi-Oh, honestly. I remember Maximilian Pegasus, but uh, beyond that, and obviously the main cast, and the fact that there was like a lot of weird Egyptian themes for no reason. Okay, maybe I do remember quite a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh. I wish I'd watched the series where they played on motorbikes, because that just sounds so, so Yu-Gi-Oh. I think calling that classic Yu-Gi-Oh is is perfectly valid because it's it's such a batshit show 
that makes absolutely no sense at all, ever. That, why not play a card game on a motorbike? Why not do that? You know? At that point, like, do what you want. Have fun with it, you know? There's, there's clearly no, no limits. The gloves are firmly off when it comes to uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh narrative. I want to pull that lever. That's going to make the water go, but I can't reach it from here, so I have to go round. And go round I shall. Right round, baby. Right round. Like a record. That's definitely not what I wanted to dash towards. Fine, you know what? There you go. I, there's another one on the floor. That was really weird. Literally the second I pressed the button to uh, use a healing potion, another one dropped. What, what a bizarre coincidence that was. The gods are smiling on me. Can you say the same? <laughs> Everything can be serviced with a, a Skyrim quote, I think. There's enough dialogue in that game that there's always going to be a quote that's going to be relevant to something. Hmm. Hmm. I see. I see. I really don't see. Ah. Um, ah. Ah. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. But I want that chest, so I'm going to go for it. Okay, it wasn't that horrible. You just have to not suck. That's the uh, big deciding factor. I, I still can't work out how to dismount those ledges normally. I mean, that's very good, but I'm not going to use it because it's too slow. I've tried using the big slow weapons in this game and they're just bad. The slashy claws are way better. Nothing else up here is uh, literally just, just for the item. I'm reluctant to drop down again because it was uh, a very epic platforming challenge to get up here, but... Alas, what else is there to do? I feel like this chest is uh, considerably easier to get to than the previous one. There's no chest balance in this game. It was the... Uh, it was the official nominated chest balancer. Because I think they spent too much time balancing Death's chest so that he can stand like this. There we go. There you go. You, you fixed your posture. Well done, Death. <laughs> uh, we've got some big cog wheels that are going to do a big turn once you put a big ball in this big hole. You know, classic, uh, classic dungeon crawling stuff. Why? These little ledges are the worst thing because they're, they're slightly too low. Or slightly too high, sorry, to just jump onto. So you have to, like, do a little mini hop onto the wall and run up it. When they could have li literally just been positioned very slightly lower so you could just jump straight onto them. Uh, sure. Thanks. How are we gonna... We need to blow that up, but I don't know where we get the bomb from. Hey, where do we get the bomb from? I need to get the bomb. Oh, can I not push it up the slope either? I need to blow it up the slope also with bombs. Okay. Alright. So, uh... So, uh... <laughs> Found it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's definitely where I wanted that to go. Oh no! Why did I fall down? Blow that one up as well, it's annoying me. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab three of these fuckers. Because I feel like I'm going to need multiple to get this fucking thing up the slope. I don't know why I threw that one. I could have just carried that one. But, eh. Oh, really? I picked the other one back up. Oh, there we go. I can get that one because it's on a slope. I just can't get these ones because they're on the floor. And death... Remember his posture. It's not very good. I guess we can see if we can just blow it up with one. That was... That was definitely not what I meant to do there. <laughs> Just want to be clear, that wasn't my intention. It barely moved. That's really upsetting. I can't I pick these up again. I feel like what we need to do is we need to like position two of them along the slope. And then stick one to the ball itself. This seems really difficult. I don't know if I'm missing something here. Fuck. I'm not good enough at FPS games for this, especially with the overly sensitive controls of this game. I'm going to move this one down a little bit, I think. Like there. Okay. It's like, I need to make three rapid succession shots perfectly on target, and it takes me like 25 minutes to line up a single shot. I don't know if it auto-aims at these. Let me Let me test that. It does, okay. That'll make life easier then. New bomb, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh... You know... If you're going to give me this puzzle, you could at least put the bomb spawn like down the bottom here, next to the ball, so I don't have to keep running all the way up there to get new ones. Oh, this is ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, Darksiders 2. I'm not on board with this one. I'm not on board. Like, okay, fine. Make me chain two bombs together to get up the slope. Fine. That would have been acceptable. Three, though? When the bombs make it move like super... When the bombs make it move like super unpredictably. Why is that necessary? I'm not going to be able to pick that one up, am I? Because it's not on a slope. I guess maybe I can roll the ball over it and explode it like that. I guess maybe that could be a solution. Anything so that I don't have to fuck around any longer with these fucking mines. Oh, no, the further one, the further one. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. So I can actually do it in two. Apparently if you stick the, the mine to the bomb, it doesn't go as far as it does if you just like blow up a mine under a bomb. So we put it like there, that'll be enough to get it to the top. So we just need to... Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Sigh. Sighing noises.
Right, so we put one, like, here. As it takes, like, the angle of the... the direction of the ball to the bomb into account by the looks of it, so... Put that fucker there. And be like... Why did it... Why did it chain react? I'm not complaining, but why did it? If it hits it dead on target, does it... Don't you dare roll back down that slope, you absolute asshole. That puzzle drained, like, three years off my life. I feel my essence leave my body, thanks to that puzzle. Was this... Was that a good thing? Can I climb that now? No? Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, we're not done blowing this fucking ball up yet. Never a dull moment around here, is there? <laughs> it never ends. I'll be exploding balls for the rest of my life. I hate how it's just impossible to put it where you want it unless you actually use the, uh, the, the crosshair aim thing. Iron, iron sights? That's not really iron sights, is it? This. Unless you use this, it is literally impossible to put the ball where you want it. Are you joking? They're not joking. Darksiders was only too happy to do that to me. They thought it would be really fucking funny. The fuck? Apparently can't stick bombs to balls anymore. It just It's just not a thing. I can, however, just about shoot that one, though, so... Right, okay. Fucking, fucking, fucking. Just fucking. Just straight fucking. Right, I think we're going to end here. I think that's probably enough for today. That was, uh... Yeah, as I say, I, I feel my, my soul withering away from having to do that puzzle. So, uh... We'll pick up this next time. We're probably about to run into a boss, I think. I think we're about at the end of this dungeon now. Um, so that'll be fun. That'll be a bit more spectacular than pushing a ball around for like 20 minutes. So uh, look out for that. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.